Big Prayer Tuesday. Just a creative way to remind you to not just pray the kind of prayers that you're like, I think God can answer that. But the ones where when you get an answer, you're going to have to tell everybody when they ask, wow, how did you do that? You're going to say, you know what? God answered my prayers. So join me today on the show and right now, because I want to pray for you, a big prayer for you to be the kind of person that breaks down barriers in your life and for others. I think we all have these things in our life, maybe something happened in your past or something that you're dealing with right now that's a barrier, like this big wall that you've put up that is preventing you from moving forward and getting the life that you really want to dream of. Um, like. For me, uh, I try not to talk about it all the time, uh, but it's just an example, okay? For me, I think a barrier to um, owning my own business or, you know, running singlemomlife.com and doing a radio show and managing three kids is because I'm doing it on my own as a single parent. But God is big enough to overcome that barrier to help me do all of these things. And he does it every single day. So what is it that you need him to help you overcome? Maybe it is getting through shame. Maybe it is fixing your marriage and your relationship. What is it that you need him to, a barrier that you need removed from your life? Here's the proof of why, why this can happen and why Jesus can do this. Before I pray for you, I need you to understand that when you pray in the name of Jesus, you are praying that a fierce liberator, a scandalous healer, and a revolutionary will get involved in your life. Okay? He's a fierce liberator. He liberated you and I from all this religious law that was imprisoning us, that no one could be perfect, when the people had to sacrifice animals in order to feel perfect. He liberated us from that. Fiercely, he died on the cross so we could be liberated from the law. And he's a scandalous healer. Jesus, when he walked on this earth, touched people no one wanted to touch, the lepers. Um, he stood up for a woman that was caught in the act of adultery and didn't allow anyone to throw stones at her because he said, you know, throw a stone if you're perfect, because no one is. He did very scandalous healings, and he was a revolutionary. He spoke a message that no one had ever heard before. Unconditional love, not based on your behavior. So when you pray in the name of Jesus, you are praying for scandalous healing, because it can happen. He does it. You're praying for revolution in your life, and you're praying that he would be a fierce liberator for you to break down any barriers. I don't care what's happened in your past. I don't care if it was an addiction that you feel like counts you out. I don't care if it was um, a, a felony. I don't care what it was. Jesus is a fierce liberator. So let's ask him to get down these, get out these barriers and we can help other people. You believe, are you ready for Big Prayer Tuesday? Let me pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe that you want to be a fierce liberator in our lives. That you want to be a scandalous healer. That you want revolution for us. So today, I believe that there are no barriers for us to moving forward into the life that you have planned for us. One where we don't feel shame one where we don't experience regret, and one where we are just focused on moving forward, telling other people how loved they are and how great they are, never judging them. Because <laughs> we could all be in that same place. And can you help us then also pass this along to others? For you have instructed us in your word to learn to do right, to seek justice, to relieve the oppressed, to correct the oppressor, to defend the fatherless and plead for the widows. Help us to be fiercely liberated from barriers in our life so that we can be an example and we can fiercely liberate others who are trapped 
and trying to be perfect, who are trapped and beating themselves up with shame. Because your son, God, died, so we don't have to feel that way anymore. Free us. Break down the barriers in our life that are causing us to not live the full, abundant life that you have planned for us today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thanks for joining me today on Big Prayer Tuesday. If you would like, please share this with a friend. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel um, at Amanda Carroll, Single Mom Life. You can also subscribe on my website at singlemomlife.com and you'll get these videos and you will get emails of encouragement if you're a single mom or if you know one. Check that out and please join me today on the show. I've got links for you to listen live. If you go to amandacarroll.org, you can find a way to listen. I'm on 12 hours a day anywhere, so you can join me at any time and help me pray for the people that are calling in today. And if you want to be one of those callers, call me any time. Always have a way to answer and take your call to put it on the radio. The phone number is 844-5-AMANDA. Have an amazing Big Prayer Tuesday. And don't forget, get your brave on.